Hi everyone, today I am doing a reading that I feel so guided to do, so I really want to do this right now. So this is going to be a question that someone asked me actually, and it said, I am broken, what should I do? So I really feel like I need to answer and address that question, it's one that I get asked quite a lot as well, and I just want to do a reading, you know, for those of you that want to know the answer. So this is going to be that reading. If um, and I just want to make a quick little announcement before that. If you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below for information on how you can win. If you would like to book a paid private reading, then also check out the description box below on how you can do that. And also, my bracelets on Etsy. They are on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. Super excited about my bracelets. I kind of always am, to be honest. And um, they are intention bracelets, handmade by me. They start from just three pounds international postage worldwide yay um, two of the bracelets are not handmade but you you'll be able to tell which ones those are um, but yeah really excited about them they're for different areas of life so for example there's an evil eye one to protect you from the evil eye there's a love one there's finance and career there's law of attraction um, happiness success balance harmony etc etc so you can check those out if you're interested now let's see you are broken. What should you do? Right? What should you do? Now, the first message here is the Queen of Swords. Cut out people, places, and things that do not serve you. Cut out things that are hurting you. Create healthy boundaries in your life of how you deserve to be treated. Make sure you treat yourself well and you're honest with yourself and you protect yourself first. You are number one, okay? Queen of Swords energy. Be honest and truthful with yourself. Sometimes honesty hurts. It's the way that it is. Make sure you create healthy boundaries. If someone is hurting you, it doesn't matter who it is, right? The, the important thing to do is to take space from that person. Again, you don't have to cut that person out forever, but for a period of time, you it's important to cut that person out just so that you can find your feet again, you can find some form of balance, and you can be at one with yourself. You know, really, really important. So that's that Queen of Swords energy that is really coming through. The second thing is to trust your intuition. Now, your intuition can sometimes tell you something completely different. You may hold on to people, places and situations because your intuition is telling you to do so. The most important thing here is to try and find some space and time for yourself. Focus on yourself. Let your intuition guide you to a calmer place. We also have here the moon. Now, the moon is about, it's, it's really about uncovering secrets making sure you take off any rose-tinted glasses that you have so then you can see everything for the reality of things and not the fantasy of things. Sometimes, especially, you know, with intuition and perhaps even dreaming, you may start seeing your fantasies. Make sure you see things for how the reality is, how people are treating you, what's going on, create those healthy boundaries. You know, you've got those two pillars. Those pillars are for protection. So try your very best to just take some time and space for yourself. You need to essentially retreat and really create some healthy boundaries. That's that's what I'm seeing. Ace of Pentacles, try out, you know, try out new things. Maybe it's starting, you know, a, a challenge, you know, um, for example, it's just going to give an example. It could be trying a new diet challenge or um, not, I'm not telling you to diet, you know, diet is in like what you eat is also called a diet, not as in, you know, dieting, but like, you know, what you eat or whatever is a diet. So perhaps, you know, there's a challenge to do with that, or maybe it's a fitness challenge or whatever it is, trying new things. This could be with hobbies, you know, in general, you may do painting or singing or dancing or trying to fix something. This is trying new things, you know, taking interest in new things. This is that Ace of Pentacles. So try and put a lot of focus into, into yourself, your hobbies, your career. This is, you know, this is about doing things for yourself. It really, really is. Okay, one of my cards just, oh, there's two cards that just fell down there. So these are 
two of pentacles and the seven of cups all right very important message this is about fantasies which we talked about so it's it's about making sure that again you take off your rose tinted glasses anytime you see things with the fantasy of things take off the rose tinted glasses and evaluate the situation for the truth of what it is the truth is going to hurt but it will make you feel a lot better because you're seeing things for what they are you know very very important I'm just going to move this along a little bit the two of pentacles there really does indicate that you have the power to be able to balance your feelings, your emotions, you know, your hobbies, everything. Things are going to be challenging. I'm not going to lie to you. Things are going to be challenging. You see those little waves. They're all over the place. They're rocky. But the boats are still there. The boats are still there. Things, you know, are going to be challenging and difficult. But you have the ability to juggle everything and to manage, you know, feeling it this way. You're not going to feel like this forever. And that is a guarantee I can make. Ooh, all right. So we have got, I'm so sorry my laptop is overheating. It has a habit of always doing this. I'm just going to unplug my charger, actually. That might help. All right. So King of Cups, the moon. Again, we spoke about the moon with uncovering secrets. A lot of these cards are just going to really tie together with the other cards. So we already talked about the Seven of Cups and fantasies and things. Make sure you see things for the reality. King of Cups here is about really controlling your emotions and being you know, like it's it's totally okay to release your emotions. If you feel like crying, cry, right? Really important to purge and you know let out your emotions. In the long term it's gonna make you much more secure and stable. So if you want to be emotionally much more stable, you know, you have to go through that sort of barrier, essentially. Um, so let your feelings out. Talk to other people. It's okay to be emotionally vulnerable. It's totally fine. You see that King of Cups? Standing in power despite being an emotional, emotional sign, an emotional king. Again, male or female, we don't read genders specifically. We read energies. The moon here is again about this moon energy with the high priestess, so it's about uncovering secrets. Again, it relates to this card, which is about seeing things for the reality of things and not the fantasy. You know, even in darkness, there is light. Always know that. Always, always know that. In life, we go through cycles and phases. You know, our life is not the same as when we were children. You know, think about it that way. Your situation is not going to stick forever. So, you know, how you feel now is not how you're going to feel later on down the line. And that is something I really need to tell you. All right, let's see what else we have. And also remember, you are not broken, you are just bruised. And bruising is something that can heal over time. It really can. You've got the Six of Cups here. Um, so it's spend time with people around you that you love. Um, family, friends... Now, I'm fully aware that not everybody is always surrounded by family and friends. Some people live by themselves or don't really have that sort of support. You can go online, you can chat with people online. So there's lots of online communities that can help. There are phone numbers and people that can really help you in terms of counselling, guidance, you know, being able to, you know, talking to people professionally for help as well if you need that. So don't, um, you know don't get upset um, because you know it, it is easy to get upset if you don't have that support from family and friends you can even talk to work colleagues but again if you don't have that and you're working for yourself or you don't work you know there are lots of other places you can go for help you can even do online counseling online therapy there's there's a lot you can do on there um, so you know support try and find some form of support it will really really help you Again, bruised, not broken. Finding your spirituality can really help. The hangman is ruled by Neptune. Neptune is a very spiritual planet and it is about finding yourself in that manner. For some of you, Reiki healing can really help. For others of you, a form of 
daily meditation can really help build up your energy. It can really help you make it can really make you feel a lot stronger. And believe me when I say this stuff works. It can really help you clear your mind. It can make you stronger in general. And again, you know, you've got that light behind the mind. It really helps clear your mind. It makes you feel more focused, more refreshed. Um, and can really make you happier as well. So for those of you that are really struggling, you know, a form of going into spirituality can really help you. And it can feed into multiple areas of your life. It can f feed into your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health. And of course, you know, it, it, also your spiritual health. So there's a lot. There's a lot. Um, spirituality is, is something that can really, really help you. The Fool. For some of you, it's embarking on a brand new journey. All right. Okay. Sharing your feelings and your emotions with other people can really help you because I feel like for a lot of you, you have to release that. And I already saw that with the King of Cups. So for some of you talking to other people or just releasing it in your own time and your own space, even if you're by yourself, can really, really help. Because, you know, when you cry and then later on you feel so much better, it's that energy. You know, allow yourself to release if you can. It can really help you. Also sharing your thoughts and your feelings with other people. You know, it could be a counsellor. It could be a friend or a colleague or a family member. Um, and also your guides and angels. Remember, you always have them. Use them. Pray to them. You know, if you believe in God, pray to God. You know, try and find your your method. You know, um, spirituality can really help you. Remember, you're never fully alone as well. That's the thing. So, you know, use that Ace of Cups. You can you can really release a lot of that. It's going to help you a lot. Page of Swords and the Fool embarking on a new journey. Some of you will you some of you will really get so strong to a point where you just want a change. You just want to feel yourself again. You want to feel good. You want happiness. You want positivity and a lot of you like you know the full card you will want to embark on that new journey a lot of you are going to be taking a lot of this advice and you're just going to want to move forward and create healthy boundaries and do your own thing and feel good also with that page of swords embarking you know and going out and exploring and having a really good time so this is your reading you are not broken you are bruised you can heal yourself in time. There are lots of methods that I mentioned throughout this video. I genuinely hope it really, really helps you. And if this resonates with your situation, um, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget that you can like this video if you liked it. You can subscribe to my channel for more information. Um, sorry, more information, more readings, and of course information because that's what I provide. And of course, don't forget to check out the description box below for information on my private paid readings, the free reading giveaway and how you can enter for that, and of course, my bracelets which are on Etsy. I hope you all have a lovely day or night. Remember, you are not broken, you are bruised, and with time, it will change. You're not going to stay stuck in a situation forever. Again, as I mentioned, think about your childhood, right? It was completely different, right? For so many of you, it was different, and you're not children anymore, right? So we all grow. So, that is your reading. I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever you are, and I will see you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.